Well, here's the thing. Okay. Oh, another day. Well, Another hour. Oh, oh. Okay. We're about to feed you. Hope you're hungry. Well, Hope you're hungry. We're about okay. to talk fights. Yummy, yummy. Japanese well, well, tea. Yummy, yummy. My hug. In my tummy. And there's a Mexican here. We out here, here. MMA, not podcast, but show. Whoa. Yeah, we talking things that you probably didn't know. That's a sport. That's a sport. Ooh. Living in this MMA lifestyle. Yeah, what's up? Welcome to We Out Here, MMA Now Podcast, but show, but now podcast. Guys, I'm here with my husbands. I got Alex, I've got Acosta, I got Nick the Ear, and guess what? I got the number one husband from NorCal. His name is AKA Grandmaster, AKA Vincent Vera, AKA Ay Papi. Grandma, gra, gra, grandma, gra, grandma, <laughs> Grandmaster. Oh, oh, you got your own drop, bro. bro. You got your own drop. <laughs> Put the volume grand on that. Master. Grand, 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 grand master. <laughs> oh, man, you got to text every, that every to me. Every time, it hits, every time it hits it, watch our chest. Grand master. Oh, shit. Grand master. Oh, shit, my grand, 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 grand master. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, dope. we have a dope, dope show for you, as Nick just said, the word dope. Dope. Uh, we're going to fight recap this past weekend's uh, fight night. It was exciting. <laughs> uh, both fight nights. We had, uh, you know, Vincent clearly watched it. He wasn't busy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I, I watched uh, a decent amount of the UFC one, but I was there for the whole boxing event. I wasn't going to miss that Jake Paul event. Hell Ooh. yeah. <laughs> the event was pretty good, right? Yeah, it was event? very non-thriller-like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's so much better with Showtime. Right, that shit was like five hours in total. Trailer oh was thirteen God. hours, half of the fucking Fuck, day. Dude, You're like God damn, dude, yeah. Uh, Vincent, what's up, dude? We haven't seen you in a while. We were just talking before this that we thought you lied to us and you were avoiding us mm-hmm. this whole time. But yep. guess what? You do have a daughter, and she does play volleyball. We checked and, out. We, and uh, we, 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 we that's weird. Out. Yeah, Nick tried to search your daughter up. That was weird. And we found her. <laughs> we found her volleyball club, and everything you said checks out. Checks yeah. out. I actually went to one of the practices too, just to make sure you were there. And yep. yeah, we yeah. saw yeah. you. We saw you. And we found out you're not that supportive of a dad. You're kind of on your phone the whole time. Uh, yeah. She's like, Dad, look at me. And you're like, nah. nah, nah. He had a, at one point, Vince had a newspaper on him. <laughs> yeah. he, he doesn't even read newspapers. Paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Analytics. <laughs> you know what's funny? Uh, and I, I don't know. I, you reminded me when you said you, you were at the practice. I, <laughs> I got recognized for the first time ever. No Finally, way. I was out and hey. someone, someone saw me at California Adventure. And <laughs> you got they, then you got money, bro. Shit. They, no, it, it's a long story. I thought we were going to have money and we didn't. So we got really depressed. And then we went, even though we don't have the money and we're going to deal with it later. <laughs> <Okay>. But somebody <laughs> recognized me and he, he DM'd me. He's like, bro, you're right here. I, I saw you. And, and I was like, how come you didn't come say hi? And then he just never responded. So I was like, that's weird. <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. But also, hey, shout out to that guy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Ooh, <you. laughs> um, well, guys, let's just get into it. Let's get into our fight. Well, oh, we're not going to get into it. You know why? There's something we have to address in the room. What? I don't think Vince can tell, but uh, Alex. But, just, just look at, just, just. Uh, can you see his? Oh, I have a qu- uh, This is a good prompt. Vince, what? is there anything that you see off about one of us? There's something that may be uncharacteristic, maybe. Mine is, I have my foreskin tied in knot. Can't see it. Yeah. I feel like it. Alex might have got some new headphones. <laughs> oh, he did. He did. He did. He did. Actually, since the last headphones. time we talked, I actually did. So yeah. you right. I thought so. Yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the first time I've ever seen a Salvadorian um, get sunburned like yeah. this. Gil also <laughs> doesn't know that many Salvadorians. I do. I know Tiff. You know, yeah. She gets sunburned too. too. No, she's very dark. Uh, yeah. I went, so <laughs> my homie, Mark Smalls, he has a podcast called Con- uh, Country Club Adjacent. I went out to film some Cunt videos and club. pictures and shit like that. It was at the Trump National or uh, National Trump Golf Course. He has right. a national golf Bro, course. Bro, hey, that yeah. shit oh, is, is so nice. Where is it? You just lost half of your subscribers. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I went because You're I getting su- canceled. Thank I'm you. I'm not saying Alex. I went because I support I went because I made fucking money. But the whole thing for is Trump. For, for Trump. Trump. Also for his let's campaign. build a wall around Benson. Wow. Yeah. Um but no, it was actually <laughs> super nice. But I was out there for a while, and I, normally I feel like I can feel myself getting sunburnt. I started feeling it like right at the end, and I was like, "Ooh, I feel like I'm getting burnt." And how, how red do you think he is, Vincent? Like whew. from your on a scale from one to five, what would you, what would you give him? Pretty red. I saw it immediately, but I didn't want to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, really forehead, right. the forehead is the worst. Like at the side view, like it's like. Hey, show light. him the shirt though. Show him yeah, the shirt. right here on the neck. Hey, hey peep this. Oh. Oh. oh no, 
with two tone homie. Hey, two tone <laughs> homie. Get up, Alex. Let's go. Two tone homie. Get up, copy. Get up, You already know, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to our fight week. Wait, before we get back into that. Oh, my God, Gilbert. <laughs> Vincent, do you get sunburned? I do. I don't think I have mine anymore. Do I? Oh, it's there, bro. A little bit. It's not that bad, It was though. way it's, worse it's, a few Hey, Vincent's, oh, yeah. like, literally on the floor. Do I still have it? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like Conan O'Brien right here. <laughs> let's see those butt cheeks, bro. Yeah, show us your butt cheeks. Let's see those butt cheeks. You got to go on the Patreon for yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good plug. Good plug. Good plug. <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash... Uh, Mexican martial arts is what's bringing our sponsor for a fight recap. No cap. And that's how we transition. So don't ever call me out. <laughs> All right. Uh, guys, we have our fight recap. No cap of the Giga versus Barboza fight. And you know what? I think you all picked wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Who did you none, have? Of a, none of us chose Giga, huh? Yeah. No chose Giga. Oh, I want to, I want to say that I chose Giga. You guys can all check my Instagram real quick. Hey. <laughs> well, I, I don't know who Giga is because yeah. he didn't fight, but Giga did fight. So. <laughs> nah, 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 bro. Giga is how you pronounce his yeah, name, bro. It's when I talk about computers, I go, oh, I got a Giga bit. Yeah, Giga oh, bit. Shit. I don't say I got a Giga I got, I got one Giga bit, fool. Hey, I got the get... one Giga bit, yo. Hey, how many jigs is that? <laughs> That's how you, <laughs> why'd you look at me? Jigs. Gigawatts. Hey, he That's looked. Where it came from. So on that, he looked. He looked scary good, to be honest. Yeah, striking. I, I thought he looked scary good. I mean, I, it is Edson, but I know the whole thing is like Edson's a little o- older and all that shit. But Edson is good. Like he looked really good in his last fight. He's been performing really good. So to him, for him to do this against Edson, even though he is what thirty five or whatever like that, mm-hmm. it's it was still a really good showing. He looked scary. He looked so fast. He looked powerful. His hands look good. His kicks obviously were good. And then when he started calling out Max Holloway, I was low-key like, I'm always going to go for Max, but I was low-key like, damn, I hope they don't make that fight. <laughs> uh, Vincent, right what, did, what did you think about that fight? Is like, uh, Did it play out how you thought it would? G-guy? Yeah. G-guy? I, I was very... I was rooting for. Uh, I'm all self conscious about Saint Giga now. No, Saint Giga. no, no, no. Say it the way hey, you, you want. Know what? Grandmaster. <laughs> say how you ever you want, baby. I was rooting for that guy. I was posting it because I didn't want people to act like I was just saying it after the fact. But he looked amazing. He looked scary, determined. He didn't even want to touch touch it up at the beginning. Like he mm-hmm. was there to handle business and. And yeah, as soon as he mentioned Holloway, I was like, man, I felt the same way. I, I like Holloway too, but it's not looking good for him. He looked dominant. Yeah, that's a tough yeah, fight. That's that a tough was... fight. Uh, Nick, overall thoughts. Is Ed, did Edson lose because he's at that age? He's a little older now. He's kind of been there for a while. Journeyman, or was Giga that good? I think Giga's just that good because he is like, he has like 50 fights under <laughs> like a kickboxing. Uh, like he, he has a lot of fights professionally uh, kickboxing. So, and he only has like five losses against like the top kickboxers, you know? So, Man, Giga's just better at kickboxing than than Edson. Like I, I did give Edson the style points because I figured, oh, he should take him down. He should make it an MMA fight. But he went out there and just kickbox with him. You go out there and you kickbox with a guy like Giga, not in your, fortunately. So if a guy like Max fights Giga, he probably shouldn't kickbox him. He probably have some sort of, you know, like style wise. I think Volkanovski matches up very well with Giga. Right, this that's true. A, this yeah. guy's a Volkanovski dick rider now. But ever even, since, tough. But even uh, Brian, or- actually, I don't know. Yeah, uh, Brian Ortega. He matches up. Yeah, yeah, decent with Giga, but I still think Giga smashes, bro. Yeah, but he looked really good, man. He looked so fast. Who who makes look Edson quick. Barboza look slow? Terry you know? Terry Etim. He 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 did make him look pretty slow. That yeah. spin wasn't that fast. Uh, <laughs> it was a slow <laughs> spin that knocked him out. Yeah. Uh, let's play matchmaker then while we're on it. So we have Max Holloway in the mix. We got Volkanovski. I don't think he can get the title shot yet. Yeah. We have Brian Ortega. Uh, who's above him? We have Dan Ige. We have Josh Emmett, uh, Arnold Allen, Calvin Cater, Chan Sung Jung. Oh, you missed it. Ooh. Calvin Cater is the next fight for him. Oh. That's, that's the next a tough fight. fight, man. Yeah. If, you're, uh, if there's any Mexicans in this room, uh, what do you think? Um, I think yep. that you should probably... <laughs> you basically... Put, you should probably put Giga with someone you want to get rid of in the top five. That's mean. No. If I'm Dana White... Who are you trying to get rid of? Josh Emmett? I think Arnold Allen, bro. I think that'd be <laughs> a good fight because he's a well-rounded... It's a good test for, uh, for Giga because he's a well-rounded fighter. 
He's very good. He does. He's very underrated, but he's very good. Got a mustache. And um, you can kind of eliminate somebody that I'm sure Dana White doesn't really like that much. Not because you know he's not good a fighter or anything like that, but he's flying under the radar. But he's the top. He's number seven in the division. So I feel like that's a good fight. Maybe. Uh, but who the fuck knows? I don't have no idea. Uh, honestly, who do you home. think? I think Calvin Cater. Yeah. I think that's the next fight. Or um, you think he takes that fight though? First fight coming back. I think he, yeah, I think he needs to. I mean, I don't think he has, like, a choice, really, right? He's coming off of a loss, so he can't really be too picky on who he fights. Giga's going to be ranked even higher now, mm-hmm. um, so I think it is a good fight. Do you think Giga cracks the top five? I think he can. I think that Calvin Cater fight is very winnable for him. His Calvin, Calvin Cater, I feel like, has a higher guard with his hands, and that body kick might be there all day for Game him. over. Uh, um, or Dan Ige. Or, like what uh, Nick said, if... if if you're trying to get someone out of the UFC, have him fight Kevin Lee. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! If Nick was the president, he'd like you to fight Yair Rodriguez and just get him out of the UFC. Yeah, but unfortunately, Bro, how Max is has to Yair fight him. number three? He's in the that g- wow! You're attacking how? his brother-in-law. Hey, how do you? I was just thinking Yair? the same thing. Though. Dang, you're his bro. <laughs> but yeah, who has he fought? Name them. <laughs> Fucking his last fight Chan was Sung uh, Jun. Yeah, not what even else? his last fight was Jeremy Stevens. Oh, that yeah. guy. Who the fuck is this guy? What? Was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was not the, that's not the accent. No, that was it. Who the f- what? I'm doing like who the fuck is this guy? Who the frick <laughs> who the is f- this dude? That's what he said. I know I went to New York. Who the fuck is, that is Joe, this guy? Joe Pesci. Whoa, Joe yeah, Pesci. Yeah, yeah, Joe Pesci. Uh, I'm like, Wait, what? What? Joe Pesci is Conor McGregor, the white uh, bandit. Vincent, <laughs> who do you got for uh for Giga? Who would you like him to fight next? Your brother-in-law I, or Max or what? I, I well, I, I think the most realistic also would be Calvin Cater. Um. I think he will jump up pretty soon, and that makes the most sense. I, I don't think he's going to go any higher to get someone that's that's above him. And I really want Giga to climb. I'd like to see him with the belt. Ooh, wow. I'm not a big fan of anyone at featherweight, really. I, I'd like to see him climb the ranks. Except like Max Holloway, right? Or Max Holloway, you know what? Or what? He, he, I feel like uh, I'm old, I've never, <laughs> I've never hated, I've never hated him, and I've I've been a fan, but I just feel like. I think I'm a bigger fan of Giga, and I feel All like. Right, and Holloway, that's it for Grandmaster. Thank you for coming on to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, thought thought were, I feel like Holloway has let Holloway, me down when it matters. I thought you were a Holloway guy. I really thought you were. I am, but attention, listeners across the galaxy, all the way from Australia to Houston. <laughs> do we have a pew problem? <laughs> yes, we do. If yeah. so, our friends at Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their fourth generation of brand new lawnmower 4.0. Kick your pubes to the next planet with the performance package 4.0. The orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity. Ooh. When you use the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming, join over not five. Not 10 people, but 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code WEOUTHEREMMA. Oh, wow. No, just WEOUTHERE. Join 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code WEOUTHERE. And when they say rocket, they're talking about my pain. Oh, ready for an out-of-world experience, fellas? Look no further than the Performance Package 4.0 from Manscaped that has just taken off not only USA, but Canada, the UK, across Europe, Australia, South Africa, and Singapore. Inside this package, you'll find their lawnmower for point oh trimmer weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer crop preserver ball deodorant cropper reviver toner performance boxer briefs what are which are amazing i should add and a travel bag to hold on to your whole solar system baby turn me up never down so now tell us about about that thing that happened with you when you were in high school and then i grabbed it and i helped you out yes i and we talked about this last week but i tend to i'm pretty clumsy when i shave especially with a straight razor Okay, but it's now school like that. with yeah. the lawnmower 4.0, yeah, it makes it so much easier for me to shave everything I need to, yeah, as fast as I can without cutting myself. Can and I, in the I, shower and too. My, and my wife can loves I, it. Can I read my a text from her wife? It, yeah, read it. She says, "Hey Gilbert, I know it's 3 a.m. Nick's asleep, but I was looking at his balls the other day. They're all bloody. Is that a normal thing that happens with Asian men?" I said, "Tiff, what are you talking about?" And she says. Oh, I that was an old picture. It looks like he is now clean shaven. 
because of the lawnmower 4.0. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. And this was and a I, problem I, in our relationship. And I texted Tim. I said, that sentence was kind of janky. Yeah. <laughs> she, was, she was drunk last night. So I apologize. She was lit up. But, you know, this is a problem in our relationship is me cutting my balls on the regular. Yeah. And now with the lawnmower 4.0, uh-huh. I'm good, baby. You know what, Nick? Get 20% off and free shipping with the code WEOUTHERE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code WEOUTHERE at manscaped.com. Nick's balls and dick need some help. For a clean journey and beyond, your space balls will thank you. Yes, they will. We out here. Back to the show. I just feel like it's the same thing with Nate Diaz. I was a Nate Diaz guy for a while, but it's like every time it mattered, he kept breaking my heart, just oh, like Holly Holm. And I was I like, like I, I don't know anymore. What about Tyron Woodley? <laughs> <laughs> I like his music. <laughs> Shut uh, the fuck let's up. Go <laughs> let's go big. Grandmaster. Let's go big. How about a car with no roof? Ooh, <laughs> I got on a roof. Ooh, ooh. I'm yeah. like, can he just say convertible? <laughs> I know. How about a car with no roof? Ooh. Convertible. Uh. He says it so many times. <laughs> having a car on a roof. Hey, having a car, a car on a roof. roof. Yeah, I'm with it, a car on a roof. I have a car with no roof. <laughs> hey, does your car have a roof? <laughs> uh, do you guys want to shout out any other fights on this card? Like maybe Kevin Lee losing and never oh, going to Dude, D-Rod, D-Rod, bro. D-Rod, bro. bro. Talk about showing D- up when it matters. Why right? Is it, right? What, what do you mean by that? He, 10 days notice, yep. goes and fights supposedly... You know, Kevin, don't, my issue with Kevin Lee is the way he talks, right? I don't care if you're talking shit, but you got to be winning. And he's talked so much crazy shit to people where, and then he goes and gets beat and he right. continues to talk this shit. Yeah, but Habib has never fought a wrestler like him. <laughs> of course, yeah. And that's, he's over here comparing, like, talking about, like, oh, Habib. Like, even back in the day, he's like, Habib's ducking me and shit. It's like, bro, he's not. And you can't even, yeah. like, win yeah. a fight, bro. Yeah. When he lost to Ally Quinta, I was like, I like Ally Quinta, but he's not, you know, not even right top. Like in the five anymore, oh, it's like all right. But short notice for D Rod. D Rod's straight striker, right? Kevin Lee tried his hardest uh, to take him down, which he was able to. But D Rod was able to get up and just piece him up on the fucking feet. That, I think that showed everybody how good D Rod is. And mm-hmm. if all D Rod needs mm-hmm. to continue to do, that was ten days notice. Just just make sure he just keeps working his wrestling and cardio. And I mean, yeah. he could be a top guy at that weight class. Yep. Yep. The the biggest thing in his weight class is wrestling. Because when you get to that top, it's Colby, it's Kamaru, all yeah. those people. So as long as he can just c- continue to work that wrestling, yeah. Uh, obviously he has power. Uh, he's really good with his striking. Um, his cardio was going a little bit towards the end, but you know it was a ten day notice fight. So mm-hmm. I thought it looked, I thought it was sick. I'm not the biggest fan of Kevin Lee, so it was cool for <laughs> me to see that shit happen. Yeah, dude, D Rod looked fucking impressive, man. He's a dog. That guy gets in there, he fights, he don't give a fuck. He's he's ready to fight wherever the fight goes, so that's pretty dope. But for Kevin Lee, man, when I see Kevin Lee, I just think his game is just, it's like... Hey, this is no, his game. This is his game. Oh, it's boo-boo? <laughs> that's what you're saying? It's boo-boo, dude. It's nah, boo-boo. Uh, his, yeah, his game, I just feel like uh, <laughs> it's it's stuck in 2018. You know, it's like he has no other skills. It seems like, like McGregor. I, honestly, yeah. Like, shut up. Like, like you, you. you <laughs> shut up. When you watch, when you watch certain guys fight, you're like, man, these guys are just they just haven't gotten any better. And Kevin Lee, like he hasn't gotten any. I want to say one other thing because I know I said it on last week's episode. I had said for me when I watch Kevin Lee fight, when adversity comes, he always breaks mentally. Mm-hmm. He got hit rocked by uh d rod immediately that fight was over he couldn't do anything for the rest of the fight you could see it in his face that's kevin lee's uh issue honestly i honestly think if kevin lee can get his mental right to where like if he gets some adversity he can be like all right cool look at i didn't do good that one let's let's turn it up this next one but for me it looks like he can't do that right when he's adjusting to the weight like how jose okay but he he went 170 lost 155 lost 170 uh, lost 155, one went back to 170. And you're like, you know what yeah. he's, doing? he's making a statement. I want a 160. Oh make, you wow, <laughs> Vince, well, uh, Vince, what do you what do you think about Kevin Lee? Yeah, I, I play match. Uh, play Dana White here. People are talking about this. Would uh, should he retire? Would you cut him from the UFC at this point, or is he still a name you can feed to people or give him another? He's a good gatekeeper, and he's a people that people like to hate and root against. True. Mm. So I think uh, people will tune in, and they just like the the drama of it. Uh, so yeah, he's a very unlikable guy, but that's one of the qualities of, you know, that's what you're looking for some of the time. So yeah, I'd keep him there. What about his tattoos? What do you think about his head mm-hmm. tattoos? 
Uh, I think you should let his hair grow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hit the button. Grandmaster. <laughs> yeah. Or that hey. Ricky. Oh, what's Sorry, that? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, no, ahead. go Ricky. Because Ricky, shout out to yeah, the Salvadorans next. and Filipinos. Yeah, shout out to the <laughs> Is it Tercios? People kept calling me on my pronunciation. Is it not Ricky Tercios? Well, those people were probably right if you're over saying Gija and shit. Like. <laughs> that fight was crazy. Him and Bridie Heisten, it was wild. Yeah, man. those fools are really scrap. Bro, he's so active off his back, man. Yep. He's so active. Too I active, like this. Huh? I like this. Yeah, he active as fuck. Remember when people used to say that? You active, active. bro. Hey, bro. So let's get active, uh, baby. But I, yeah, Ricky is, man, he's dope. And he's Salvi in his speech. At the end, about children and know just not saying? giving up, and just being out here, being the best person you could be, and making sure you know what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, that was dope. But you know, that, speaking about that speech, you know who could have used that? Who? Vincent's daughter. Vincent doesn't say things like that to his daughter, yeah. but she plays volleyball. Too busy wow, reading newspapers. Man. Newspapers, man. Letters. Analytics. <laughs> can I? Can I give one more shout out? Yeah, I'm gonna give a shout out to the man, the myth, the legend. Mr. G Shart himself, bro. Yeah, I'm your my Shart. boy went out there. You're welcome. And fought Muradov, and Muradov is a killer. He was on like a 15 fight win streak, just knocking everybody the fuck out. He hurt G Shart a little bit, but G Shart came back and said, "I'm gonna stand in there with you." His striking looked better. Took those shots, and he just sub subbed him, dude. Great. Yeah, it was, it was such a fun performance. That was a good comeback. Yeah, that was especially great. when he started landing hard. I was like, "Oh, oh shit. shit, my boy throwing!" Huh? Okay, G he should Mershaw? fight Jake also, Paul. <laughs> also, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pour one out. Uh, a pour out shout out to uh, my boy Gilbert Rabina. He lost. Yeah, shout out to Gilbert. Yeah, but, uh, yeah Gilbert are just not doing too hot right now. It sucks. You know? It sucks because I want him to do good. You know. Yeah, yeah I like the guy. I like but, all the guys on top. Yeah, actually. but unfortunately, damn, the UFC did their job. They got us to care about these guys. Wow. God, good job, UFC. Good job. Grandmaster. For making us care about these guys. Uh, Vincent, any uh, shout outs on this card, or did you only watch the main? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to refresh my memory, and it looks like I only watched the main event, but I was happy. <laughs> see, what are we calling him? G Shart? G Shart. Yeah, G Shart. I was happy to see him win as well because it was hard to see um, him get smashed the last time. Yeah. yeah. That was so rough, bro. Hello, yeah. Smish. All right, guys, we got another Hello. fight recap. No cap. Ooh, we're gonna walk on over. Hashtag uh, rope a dope all the way back to boxing. <laughs> yeah. Guess Hashtag. what? Big loss for MMA in general, and all for all for the guys here at We Out Here. Don't worry, Vince. We'll get to your opinions that are wrong. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, the boys that we hired, the husbands, the Chicken Wing Ling Ling franchise, got it wrong. We all had uh, Tyron Woodley. Even Alex, I think, at one point said, uh, "What do you say, Nick?" Was he said I, if he shows up, he goes, Tyron wins. wins. But even if he, he doesn't, doesn't show up, up he still Tyron wins. Win, yeah, <laughs> uh, we're wrong. Uh, Vincent, did you also choose wrong like us? And did you go big or did you go Paul? Oh, I uh, <laughs> I went big. I even I even made it public. I put proof. I posted a prediction video. I let everyone know that Tyron lost the fight before the fight. <laughs> And people were leaving me comments saying, I'm going to be back after the fight. And I'm working on a video tonight telling them, where are you? Come back and reply to the strand. Oh, 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 with the hands now. like this, oh, dude. That Inshallah. shit. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, brother. Grandmaster. <laughs> we need to get more sound effects. No, uh, <laughs> hey, just this one. Grandmaster. Hey, that's all we need, bro. That makes bro. no sense. Playing in Spanish. That's not Spanish. Bro. That's, like, that's Georgian. Uh, Vance, want to give us your, your quick breakdown uh, of what you saw and why you knew it was going to happen? Um, well, just the whole thing from the, the, the conference where obviously uh, Woodley, I mean, he even said it after. So the whole mayhem went on about his mom and everything. He got really emotional. And then after that, he was interviewed by Ariel and he even told him, I don't even care about the fight anymore. I don't even care about the money. I don't care about the match. It's personal now. He was just like out of his head already. He wasn't focused anymore. Um, I felt like he was going to go in there mad, mean, just trying to take his head off. Yeah, That's what he did the whole fight. You look at his face. He's just aggressive. He just wants to hurt him. And Jake, he's fighting like Adesanya in there. He's trying to not get hit. He's backing oh up the whole time. He's trying, he's trying to point fight. He's trying to stay away. He's trying to hey. cut angles. Hey. He's not wrong, though, bro. No! You <laughs> put Adesanya and Jake Paul in the same sentence? He's not wrong, <laughs> dog. 
Well, I mean, I, I guess my perspective was, all right, he sees this guy mad. He sees this guy trying to take his head off, like, you know, old school Nogano. Uh, I forgot who I was. No, no, I was going to no. say Nogano. 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 Hey, we need, we need him to be a commentator in the UFC so we can just butcher everybody's name. <laughs> but it's, it's, I, I get mixed up, yeah. And but, Nogano's um, even better, though, I think. I, I say that now normally, and then I just, like I said earlier, I just get self-conscious about it because I know people are going to call me on it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I felt like he, Jake was trying to play it cool. He was trying to stay away from him, trying to not get hit. And Woodley was just throwing bombs. And one of the, the things that I see a lot of people saying on social media is Woodley's old. I mean, even though some of these things might be true in a sense, they're saying he's old, he's washed up, he can't win anymore. It's not just that. If you go and watch all his old clips, even the highlights, mm-hmm. even, and I went and did the research, even the ones where he wins by knockout, TKO, mm-hmm. he still, he's still not putting punches together. It's yep. always bombs. It's not yeah. clean combos. It's not nice, smooth boxing. It's just a setup and a bomb. Yep. So he's just not a boxer. He was never that guy. So it's just people that never really, it's either Jake Paul fans coming straight from YouTube or people that just hopped into MMA that don't even know his career and don't know that he was never putting punches together in combos. Yep. So he just was out of his element. And this is what Jake Paul has been focusing on for a few years now mm, yeah. so i just knew that yeah you could go watch the video if you want more details oh that's a kind of call out plug. yeah i did watch that video it was a great video by the way oh uh, thank you alex uh we'll go around the room but alex we'll start with you in terms of scoring uh tyron woodley after the fight <laughs> trying to secure the bag again no thank you uh <laughs> i was trying to say he won that fight uh did you think it was a close one or do you think jake had it the whole time um <sighs> I could see how, you know, some people, because there was some fighters, too, that thought Tyron won the fight. I can see how you can do it, um, I guess. But, honestly, he didn't win the fight. Uh, it, what What's embarrassing to me, or what made me so disappointed, was that, to me, Jake Paul didn't look good, either. Like, I thought he looked pretty sloppy. Like, I was talking to David about it, actually, and... You know, his footwork, like he was like tripping over himself a lot of the times. And he just, he just looked, he looked like an amateur boxer. But for me, it was like, and he, to me, he still beat Tyron. Like it was, to me, it was kind of clear that he beat Tyron. You know, Tyron did land the bomb. And even if they gave him the knockdown, like if he would have fell and knocked him down, he still lost the fight. I I only gave him like maybe like two or three rounds in total Mm. because at the end of the day, there was no volume on it. Tyron wouldn't throw more. He wouldn't throw volume. And Nick talked about this. He's not a volume puncher. Yeah. And so it was just like, I was just sitting there so mad. I'm like, bro, just fucking throw something. He would cut him off. He would cut him off in the ring and then just stop and then let him get like into the open. I'm like, what are you doing? It was just, it was just such a disappointing fight for me because honestly, he sh- I honestly think he should have won that fight. Um, I thought that fight was his, and then now there's people saying that they think the fight's rigged because there were so many times where he did hit him, and then he looked like he just stood there and waited for him to get back into the center, and then he started fighting him again. But at the end right. of the day, Jake won. I thought he won pretty clear. Um, yeah, fortunate. Yeah, Tyron is. Uh, go ahead. Your arms are up. Grandmaster. I didn't think for a second ever that it was rigged until Tyron. Got in Jake's face, and it was the cheesiest, was most awkward kind of. It was so pathetic. It was Bet. corny, and I was like, Bet. "Whoa, this feels like WWF now." I felt it was a little too WWF slash. Oh my bad. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> my function over here. The- <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh shit! That's your alarm. The battery out. <laughs> is a freaking air horn. That's how I wake up in the morning. That'll wake you up, bro. <laughs> God, your wife must hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you just thought it was all fake. I'm I'm just saying at that moment, that was where there was a little window of, oh, man, was I wrong this whole time? Because this is the cheesiest thing. This is so weird yeah. and awkward. Tyrone got in his face like if it was like, you know, The Rock and Stone Cold back in the day or something. Yeah. It was just so weird. Unless you were just capturing, you know, usually when you're watching MMA, there's a an element of professionalism. Mm. Maybe we just got a whiff of, of Tyrone. Ty- Tyron getting too <laughs> real and being too upset in real life and it's yeah. like whoa is this what it looks like like when you're really mad mm-hmm. I don't know it was just so awkward it was like yeah. when you see if you saw two people at the grocery store getting each other's face it just feels so weird yeah. yeah it's like he was trying to play it off like 
cool by being like getting in his face, but I think in reality is I think he was so shell shocked that he just <sighs> lost after the that face off conversation with Ariel, after all the shit, after releasing a song with a poorly made music video. <laughs> it was like Really? I thought the music video was kinda cool. Oh yeah. You're some right. nice ass fucking but a guy. But in like that. in a pool that the, an Airbnb pool. Let go big. If you're gonna go big, no, it's pure spaces. A, it's pure space. It's pure space. Rent, Let go big. Literally Fuck. rent a mansion. It's not that bad for one. Bro, day. I mean, he's just starting out. Chill. Like, <laughs> yeah, he just got his rap. Goddamn, yeah, bro. Uh, <laughs> Nick, what do you what do you think? It's in terms of like a, a ter- an MMA guy. Do you how embarrassing do you think this is? Like a lot of fighters were kind of like with the emoji with the hand on the head. Like well, should Tyron yeah. be really embarrassed? I think he should, but at the same time, it's like boxing is a completely different sport. Um, the skills that you need to have in boxing are very different than MMA. Going back to what Vince said, a lot of this knockouts came from the threat of the takedown being there. Mm, Everyone's worrying about the takedown. So, uh, and he's so fast, he just throws that right hand. People get caught by it, you know. So, for a guy like Jake Paul, I think he very thorough in what he does, no matter what he does. Even though he's very annoying and he's he likes to get under people's skin, but he's very thorough with that too. So when he did his uh, game plan against Tyron. I think he was very thorough in knowing what to expect. And as the fight went on, he threw less. He like kind of doubted himself a little bit, right? Whether he was tired or not, he looked fresh as a daisy. But he would do things yeah, where... Who says that? I do. Fresh as a daisy. He looked fresh as a motherfucking daisy, dog. Who was? Uh, fresh? Jake or Tyron? Tyron. Jake was getting tired. Yeah, Jake was, was getting tired. He, 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 like Alex said, he looked sloppy. He, didn't, he looked like... A mid-level amateur boxer, and Tyron still could have kept. Because that's the thing. That's what's embarrassing. But you know what it is, though. It's it's the ego thing, right? It's like Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul. It's very similar to this fight. That was more exciting. But it was nothing really happened. I I to me, I think the Tyron Jake Paul fight was way more exciting than the Logan and Mayweather because the whole time Mayweather is like, if I get hit by this dude clean, whether he thinks he'll get knocked out or not, it's still a bad. Right, so he did not want to take the risk to put himself out there to throw, and I feel like Tyron was thinking the same thing, because this is an ego fight. The fact that he's even fighting Jake Paul on this big stage, <laughs> even though crazy. it's for money, crazy. he's lost. He lost already. Yeah, yeah, he's done. The minute he decided to say, "I'm gonna fight this dude," it was over. But I feel like everybody got really excited that Tyron was gonna fight Jake Paul because one, we all thought he was gonna get knocked out, and two, anything would be better. Than fucking Ben Askren. So yeah. I feel like everybody, once again, we're all victims of this wishful thinking of like, yeah, Tyron's going to do it. He could be the guy. But once again, he disappointed the MMA community. Let's, um, he disappointed us he, by not throwing he, anything. Nothing. And bro. it was his fight it to was win. Like MMA Tyron could have just he so could've, hesitant. Could've, he could have knocked him out. I was literally in my room talking like as if I knew him. I'm like, come on, T. Come Save on, yeah. some T? shit, T. Let's like, go. Come like, on, go T. Go big. I was like, let's <laughs> go big. Call in the room. Hey, the no call in the room. But yeah, like literally, I was like, bro, just fucking throw bro, something. something. No, throw. Not even a jab. Not even a feeler jab. Just, but yeah, the whole time, like he wasn't throwing anything in the air, right? Like he wasn't, he wasn't testing his range. He wasn't trying. He was just waiting for big shots. And if you're waiting for big shots, you go big time. Yeah, you, if you're waiting for big shots, shots you go fucking big, big, big time, time, bro. Let but go if, big. But if you're, going, if you're looking for a big shot and that never comes, you're in trouble. Um, all right, let's predict a little bit. Uh, matchmaker prediction. Not what we want to see, because I don't think, I mean, maybe Vincent stuff, but like, what do you think will actually happen with Jake Paul and what happens with Tyron Woodley? Uh, Vincent, you go first. I, I, don't, I don't understand why Dylan everybody... Dylan Dennis? What do you want, well, baby? No. I, everyone wants to see him with Dylan Dennis, and I don't get it. And I feel like that's probably what's going to end up happening because everyone in, like, that world and all the commentators and all the broadcasters and all the... Everyone keeps bringing up that name, and I don't get it. That would be so boring, and it would be a step back from Woodley because, I mean compare i mean even though he froze up and we all see what happened now compare danis's hands to woodley's and the power and the size it's like why are we going in that direction so i feel like it it might end up being danis i really hope it's not um for woodley i think he's gonna take that money and he's gonna get one of those better hotels you were talking about for his next video i think he's done with fighting um yeah 
What do you think of his rap career? <laughs> um, I'll say this. I've, I saw the, early, <laughs> the earlier ones and, and now seeing where he's at, it's clearly progressing. Yeah, and everyone yeah, thank was, God. I need to watch every, his videos. Okay, people were clowning on him for the first couple. It was a meme. And now everyone's like, hey, man, this is good. He can rap. So, okay, thank God. No, man. I was going to say that being a rapper, right? And I was proving it. Me too, Give me too. eight bars. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, but yeah, I was going to say that from the when he first dropped, even like, ah, beat your ass and all that shit. I was like, okay, he's low-key whack. Dude, <laughs> okay. so there's a really funny comment that's been going around all the Reddit. And they were saying, um, ever since Tyron Woodley dropped that song, I'm going to beat your ass, he hasn't won a fight. He's got his ass beat every single oh, fight. He got to unrelease that. I don't know if that's true. But it's a very funny comment. But um, <laughs> no, yeah. When I heard this song, even though you know it was very he, it, it's like a trap rap song. It's very basic lyrics, not that many lyrics, and it's like the same the same style of bar each time. I've it been walking definitely. around my house all, all day. How about a car with no roof? Yeah, <laughs> <How about laughs> <a car with laughs> roof? but it's definitely <laughs> it's no definitely roof. better. That has to be a drop, bro. The beat was good, and it was definitely better. So it was a. He's putting together music better, is what I should say. Mm-hmm, See, Tyron, mm-hmm. if you're listening to this podcast, which you are, oh, Grandmaster, oh, nah. you should know that uh, we support your rap career. We're cheering for you. I support Just, T. Wood, man. I really I wanted really like him, him to win. I really wanted him to win. And I thought he, he was great in the face-off. Those, those are great. He was great. He was killing it. He made oh, yeah, Jake man. look so stupid. <laughs> and he, at, least he, at least he almost dropped him. And that should have been a knockdown, actually. Yeah, that yeah. should have been. Do you knockout. think that would have changed the outcome of the fight, though? Yeah. Yes, I think that I could. Think so? Yeah, the standing eight. That's true, but I, like point wise too. Uh, probably not. Because one of the judges gave Tyron two rounds only. Yeah, no, I think round wise, no. But for in, mental, brother, for brother, yeah. for mental, for both fighters, I feel like it's big. But I do feel like I think he did go big with that one, though, right? Because. Honestly, out of the whole fight, that was the only like damaging punch. But how about a car with no roof? But also, <laughs> how about we That's stay true. on track? And so, Vincent, you're gonna go with <laughs> Dylan, not Dylan Downs. Give me a name for Jake Paul. For this someone fight. that I want to see him fight, I would like him to fight. Oh, oh man. Um, I'm gonna give you one more second, and we're gonna turn, <laughs> off, the, we're gonna turn off the zoom. <laughs> Bisping. Oh, oh. Was, you know what? I feel like Bisping would still lose. No, we. Wouldn't. I don't. Bisping Bro, definitely Bisping wins. Would not lose. No. Though. God, is that how confident you guys were with the last? No, 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 no. Jake Paul exposed himself. He exposed himself. He to has... be a real pro fighter. Nah, hey, man. his cardio is level. 50. Michael Fuck. Bisping cardio level 300. If, if bro. Tyron Woodley would just throw a counter, if he just carried a shot and threw one down the middle. He could have ended his face, bro. Look, Nick's even praying about it. Uh, brother, Al- brother, please. Alex, well, who do you think that J- they give Jake Paul for another uh, one? Here, here's my honest, truthful thing. I think uh, he doesn't fight. He probably doesn't fight again. Yeah. And that's because it. I think, you know, he beat Tyron. Now he's going to be able to go be all cocky and be like, oh, look, and I beat a five-time world champ. Even yeah, though he true. was discrediting all that shit, now he's going to use that towards his Smart. credit. Like, I beat a five-time world Smart, champ. Yep. Um, Did you know he's having a baby? Jake Paul? Yeah, after the after the fight, he was. Did you? I don't know if you saw the post interview. He's like, I'm gonna take vacation. I'm gonna fix my teeth. I'm gonna do that. I've been fighting and trading for 18 straight months, and I, I was thinking the same thing you're saying, Alex. Like, okay, I think he's gonna kind of try to fade out of this. And a few days before that, uh, Logan Paul released the podcast Impulsive, and Jake announced on there him and his girlfriend. I don't think they're married or having a baby. That wow. she's pregnant out of wedlock, yeah. right? Wow. Oh, but the whole thing with kind of yeah. gross. <laughs> what I think is <laughs> it's kind of gross. Uh, kind of fucked up. <laughs> if he's gonna fight, I just want to. I don't want to see him fight any MMA guys that he gets to handpick. Because even Mike Perry talked about Mike it today. Mike Perry could knock that. Well, Mike Perry talked out. about it today. He's yeah. like, because he didn't want to say anything about the sparring sessions. Only like, oh, he's good. But he just came out today on Ariel Show talking about. He's like, all right, to be real, he's like, first three rounds. He was fine. He's like, but after that, you know, me being my pressure self and stuff like that, he was like, he started to fade. He's like, and then I started landing all my shots. I started landing hooks. I started landing jabs, my crosses, because he's like, after round three, he's not used to that pressure of someone that can eat his shots. Um, he, he was fading. He's yeah. like, so I kind of knew that this was going to happen in that fight. I was like, all right, so 
I don't want to see him. I want to see him. If he's going to fight another MMA fighter, let's give him an actual shot. Terrence Hill. Okay, so who do you want? So we can wrap this Anderson up. Anderson Silva beats him. Boom. Nick, uh, who do you got? Uh, Mike Perry beats him, Doug. Mike Perry beats him. Boom. I think he should fight Tyga. Anyways. Ooh. Have you seen that dude's OnlyFans? That exactly. dude be fucking. Grandmaster. <laughs> oh, he'd be fucking Grandmaster? No, no, he'd, he'd be, be fucking. fucking oh. Grandmaster. But he's a Grandmaster of OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so All he's right. quite successful. All right, guys. Let's move on to uh, fights that got to make me act up. Gentlemen, if you take a look at the fights that were just announced for UFC 268, Usman versus Covington 2 at MSG, which stands for? Madison uh, Serpent. A garden. Yep. Exactly. Madison Serpent Garden. All that time to come up with that improvised name. Jesus, man. All I right. Oh, we'll start with Alex. Alex, from that list, what fight makes you act up? Um, I'm going to say uh, Michael Chandler, Justin Gaethje. God damn, you stole mine. Well, Bang. everybody knows I'm a Gaethje fan. Everyone like, knows that's that my... you're going to become a Michael Chandler fan after that night. I'm not. Ooh. Michael Chandler is going up. Let me explain this to you, okay? You see my hand, how I'm, like, making blocks and shit? <laughs> yeah. Michael, Justin Gagey is literally going to, <laughs> li- like, he's going to end Michael Chandler's career. He's going to Ooh. beat the living shit out of Michael Chandler. You think Chandler. he smashes his face, brother? I think he smashes number one. After he smashes him, he's going to do his finger up. All of a sudden, he's going to be wearing a white hat. It's going to be a, a dominant performance by Justin Gagey. Cool. Two words. Henry Hook. <laughs> All right, uh, Trevor Wayne. Nick, 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 what if I make you? Oh, God. That was going to be my pick. Michael Chandler and Justin Gaethje. Great diversity, guys. But my favorite fighter is fighting, and his name is Luke Cuckold. And he is fighting my <laughs> man, Sean Strickland. And That's I'm excited fight. about that fight. That's a yum-yum fight for sure. But also, shout out to Irene Aldana versus Jermaine mm-hmm. Durandame. And that's going to be a striking fucking Body shot clinic. central. Body Dude, shot. Irene Aldana, I'm a fan. Hopefully she misses weight again. That'd be tight. <laughs> Hopefully she misses weight again <laughs> and fights Durain Demrandame, who never makes weight, apparently. And then gets a bonus, but then a, a news person goes, hey. No, that was Aldana. That's oh. stupid-ass fucking news person. Hey, but she still got Dana, a bonus, though. Hopefully you know? reminded Dana White that she missed weight after he decided to give her a bonus. Oh, I forgot about that. Luke Cuckold. Yo, Gra- that's going to be a fun fight. Uh, Grandmaster, what fight makes you act up? Rose. Uh, yeah. Rose. How do you guys feel about Yeah, We'll start with you, Vincent. How do you feel about that automatic rematch? Um, you think I was- liked it. I, yeah? I think okay. it makes the most sense. I don't see anybody else being as competitive as those two against each other right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that a button or is that somebody? No, that was a button. Who was that? That was a button. <laughs> that was Nick. My mic was... I've never heard you do that in my entire career in our friendship. What do you mean? What's wrong with you? No, hit the button. This man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is wrong with oh, you? He, in the he middle record- of a sh- It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Wait, what's... It's been a while. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Anyways, Nick, doing <laughs> random sounds that made no sense. No, that's a drop. I pressed the wrong button. My bad. Mm-hmm. No, uh, you push this one. Teach your lie. Hey, get rid of that one, bro. That was <laughs> whack. Uh, yeah, how do you guys feel about the rematch automatically after being decisively knocked out? I think Zhang Wang Lee kicks her in the head with the left sword. Uh, I, honestly, 100%, I think she, I mean, she... I guess, but honestly, I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. I'm like, no, nah, someone else deserves exactly, the title yeah. shot. I mean, she literally she defended her title how many times? Oh, who are you talking about? No, that was her first title defense, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And she lost in literally the fucking first minute. China. China. Whoa, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, bro. <laughs> All right, at least Nick said it. <laughs> did that button? No, nah, that, that but was that was no. me saying it. That was honestly, my impression. Uh, I God honestly damn. thought someone else was gonna get the fight. I didn't think that she was gonna get the media rematch, but. I mean, Zhang Wei Li is the bigger name, I guess, you know? So, fuck it. But you could have given her Carlos Sparza. Nobody wants to see that, bro. I know, but Carlos Sparza has worked her way back <laughs> to that title. That's another drop, yeah. <laughs> she has worked her way back to that title shot. So, it's like, I thought they could have given it to her. She did beat Rose, you know, that they can build up a fight from that. It's a rematch, but, um, yeah, I was kind of surprised when they would do it a little bit. But, honestly, at the same time, it's like, you know, she's a big name. She's, you know, a huge name in... Um, she's a huge name in China. So it's like, you know, it makes sense. God. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, that, that's Vince's favorite one, huh? It's been a while. 
<laughs> All right, God damn. It's My got bad. some twang on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, was that a button? Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's a button. What do you feel about that, uh, Gil? Look, guys, hit the China button. You gotta tell me ahead of time. China! We're done. All right. Uh, Fuck you. Guys, we're gonna get our, to our quick pick picks with Lift God, Nick the Ear, and. Grandmaster. Uh, guys, <laughs> middle <laughs> weight main event. This actually, the fighter that is fighting is actually a good friend of the out here. We've been talking yeah. about him since the first episode during pandemic. Give it up for Cisco, aka Derek Brunson. I like <laughs> Derek Brunson. Cisco will be fighting Darren Till. This is a yum yum fight. We got a classic striker versus wrestler. Gentlemen, a way in. Vincent, give us your quick pick. I like Brunson. He liked uh, one of my posts on Instagram. Done. Fan for life. Yeah. <laughs> That's like. dope. What was the post that he liked? It was a months ago. I'd have to scroll, but it's still, uh, hopefully it's still there. One you time know. Anthony Pettis liked some of my stuff and then he followed me. And then in one of my videos, I was like, hey, Anthony Pettis is following me. And then he unfollowed me. Oh, <laughs> so, I, I, so I don't put people on blast anymore. That, that must have been the thing back in the day. After today. Yeah, after today. Look at Anthony <laughs> Pettis. Now, nah, there was a thing where fighters would just follow you on Twitter and Instagram, and then you'd follow them back, and then they would unfollow that's you. A, that's, there's that's an automated algorithm. system that does yeah. that. My friend who works... Uh, you know that's a, a that don't type defend of stuff. Anthony back Pettis. in the day. You know, there's a site that does that for you just to get your followers. Yo, so. I was hyped because Tim Boach followed me one time, bro. Remember Tim Boach, dog? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what? Mighty Mouse, and then they don't follow me. So no, a couple time, years ago, Britney Spears followed me, and I was like, "What? No way." So, it was probably one of those. Yeah. Her, no. her dad no. probably made you. Her dad made her own. She's a big. Yeah. Hey, what if she was a huge fan of MMA and a big fan of you? Wouldn't that be tight? Well, okay. she never responded to my DMs. Ooh. Fucking asshole. One dude. time I followed uh, Chikukan and then it was just big black dicks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That wasn't even her being happy. Hey, Gilbert yeah. doesn't even follow me, so don't feel bad. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Which one do you want Which me to do? <laughs> yeah. China. China. There we go. I don't need that. <laughs> no, he did it. Uh, guys, that's, that's, that's. guys, quick picks. Alex, give me your quick pick. Disco or Darren <sighs> Till? All right. You know, these past couple of weeks, I've been choosing who I want. This week, I'm going to choose who I actually, like, just straight MMA think is going to win. I think Derek Brunson, Brunson is going to win this fight. Take the air. I think you guys are all fucking wrong. My boy from Liverpool, Darren Till, is going to win. Sweet Caroline. Because he, he don't fucking care. He don't care, bro. He got two. He got kids in Brazil. He don't fucking care. Hey, I will I will say this. Cat. I am a huge Darren Till fan, and I really want him to win. But like I said, this week, I'm just going straight MMA pick. I hey, think guess Derek what? Brunson you're wins. wrong. Guess dude. what? I hope I'm you, wrong. you never <laughs> picked against Derek Brunson. You're, the way you're acting is the same way you felt about Edmund Shabazzian, okay? So remember that. Stop. Oh. Hey. hey. Gilbert, who Darren do you Till? have? Dude, hey, who Shabazzian, do you think? Bro. I never bet against hey, your hair blonde. You know why? His hair is black now. Is it really? Yeah. Darren Till. Okay, moving on <laughs> yeah. to our heavyweight co-main event. I like this Wait, you didn't ask? Oh, yeah, you asked. Okay. I have uh, Frank Mir, a.k.a. Tom Aspinall, will be fighting <laughs> Sergey Spivak, a.k.a. Count Dracula, question mark? Yeah. Uh, Vincent Vera, a.k.a. Grandmaster, a.k.a. Mexican Martial Arts, a.k.a. Number one on YouTube, a.k.a. Gra Grandmaster. Who do you have for your quick pick? Tom Aspinall, or who's very quick on his feet, or Sergey, who's very European? I got to go with Sergey Spivak. Why? Be honest. I respect alliteration. Hey! <laughs> yeah, lift God. Um, Tom Aspinall all day is going to win this fight. This is a short notice fight for Sergey as well. Sergey as well. No, Sergey is better. <laughs> Sergey, yeah. Sergey. Um, Tom Yay. Aspinall is a monster. He's, we're going to see him in the top five here soon, I think. Uh, handles him pretty quick. Uh, Nick, what do you got, Tom Aspinall, or do you have Sir J sex tape with Kim Kardashian? Oh, well, since you said that, I want Sir Ray. Sir AJ. No, I, I got Tom Aspinall. I think uh, this is like a two day replacement or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, definitely not two, but yeah. 17 I'm, hour replacement. I'm also going to go with Tom Aspinall just so people realize if y'all. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah. welterweight fight. We have Alex Morono versus David Zawada. And guess what? I don't know too much of David Zawada's work, but I'm going to go with David Zawada because that name be Flyda. Um, <laughs> Vincent, who you got? I hate you. Uh, I have to go with Alex Morono. 
Mm. You, didn't, um, you didn't want to roll the R. On go that? with the the okay. rat Latin, no. You didn't want to roll the. He, he didn't roll the R. Romo, I was. I, I was like too like to... <laughs> <laughs> I was caught up trying to think of a good reason, and I, and I have none. I just this is a coin toss for me. Oh, hey, that's I like the truth. Look, God. Um, I have a uh, David Zawada. Honestly, Mor- Alex Moreno is good, but um, but he's not no Brandon Moreno. He's yeah, not, he's not. No Brandon Moreno. Um, he's he's all right. You know, he's he's all right. He's, he's a good fighter, but I just think David Zawada might uh, pull this off. He did. S- he submitted a um uh, uh block bar. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll, yeah. So uh, he's he's really good. I think he. I think he. Pick the ear. I'm gonna go with David because uh, Alex is a, another last minute replacement. So uh, I'm gonna go David Zavada. God, I don't like that we're all picking against him. <laughs> uh, Who planned this, by the way? Guys, light heavyweight. Sure, no, hey, skip me, bro. You already know. Light ah. heavyweight fight. We got Bukaki versus Tiger Muay Thai's Roundtree <laughs> Jr. Uh, we'll we'll go in reverse. Nick the ear, Modestas or Khalil. Uh, I'm gonna go Khalil, bro. Got to go. I, I right? saw he's I fun. saw Modesto's fight, and he's pretty good, but I just wasn't really that like. Well, yeah, he's aight. It's 27. Oh, shit. My bad. I take that all back. <laughs> Thank you. Lift God? Uh, all day, every day, we'll always go for Khalil Roundtree. Yeah, baby. Uh, I think Khalil nice Roundtree. I like Khalil Roundtree because he used to work with some bands back in the day where, like, he's a death court hit, like oh. how I was, you know? So Me too. I've always been a fucking huge fan of him. I think this is a good fight for him. He's fighting a guy on a two-fight losing streak, if I'm not incorrect. And I think this is a good fight for him to come back, get some confidence, get a win, and start making a fucking run in that division. Uh, Grandmaster. I got to go with Roundtree because Woo! Modestas Buscuacuas makes me sound Buscuacas. foolish. Buscuacas. 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 He said Quacuas. Also, Buscuacas. because uh, on the un- Unfiltered podcast, Matt Sarah made a cool song with Khalil's name. He went, Khalil, don't like it. Dun, dun. <laughs> Khalil, round tree. Khalil. So I was like, I'm always going to always go for Khalil. What a fucking And I like when he goes name. like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, cool <laughs> round tree. That guy's a beast. He got big thighs. Could he drop to 185 or is he too big? He's he's thick. He's, thick. he's yeah, a guy. thick, thick guy. ass yeah, boy, yeah. boy. I like him. I gotta love a guy that doesn't knock guy who hangs out with Fizzy up. Be buddies. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. The last fight we have no picture. Patty Pimblet versus Luigi Venderama Mimini. Is that racist? What? You know what? what? Just did. You know what? Oh bro. no! Any Italian? Don't. Any ta- Italian? Russian? All racist. Anything Asian? Very racist. Yeah, hey, I had ravioli yeah. today. I say ravioli. Ravioli. See, fine. I'll say. Bushu pork in another accent. Be careful. See how we are all. See how yep. we all's money. China Bushu pork. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, Vincent Vera, who do you got? Uh, I'm going for Luigi because <laughs> he disrespected Khabib. Ooh, that's oh, true. He did. He did. He be talking shit. He said, uh, "What did he Patty's, say?" Patty's. Uh, he Patty Pimblin said Khabib is sounding like a Karen. Damn. But yeah, get rid of the ring girls, bro. Get rid of him. Also, <laughs> I'm gonna go for Patty just because he attacked the goat. You gotta have some respect. Yeah, Nick? I'm gonna go Patty the Batty. I'm excited. I'm hyped off him. He's talking a lot of shit, you know. And he's he's from the same town as Karen Till. Liverpool. So, um, you know, I love their accents. They're entertaining. He has a great haircut. <laughs> Way better than all of us. Literally, a it looks like the owner of the Raiders. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that reference is, but I think it's funny. Look up the owner of the Raiders right now. <laughs> well, can we pull it up for the audience? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll put it on there. But, but, uh, but <laughs> yeah, man, he, he's got a lot of hype behind him. And he actually turned down a UFC contract early in his career, like about five years ago. Patty? Because he was like, I want to mature better. Because wait, Khabib a, was wait, fighting. That's yeah, a, yeah. Wait, I've <laughs> seen this guy. That's a real person? Yeah. yeah. No, nah, it's a Photoshop. <laughs> Mark Especially Davis, that bro. is a Photoshop. <laughs> no, nah, that's Patty Pimblett. Damn, he's rich, huh? Uh, look oh, the got. Of the Raiders? I got, uh, I got, <laughs> yeah. I got Patty. I think he has some hype on him, and I think he has it for a good his reason. Nickname. Say his nickname. Patty Daddy. What is it? Yeah, that's it. Patty Daddy. Patty Daddy. I think Patty Daddy wins. I think Patty Daddy goes in there and shows him who who's big, and then he leaves in a car with no roof. Hey, 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 h
Let's go. Same thing. Uh, no, Julian Rosa versus Charles Another. Air Jordan. Banger, mm. bro. That's gonna be a good fight. Oh, right also, there. Jack Shore. Yeah, Jack Shore is good. He, he nice, bro. He nice with it. Uh, Vincent, you care or you're like me? We're good. I'm just gonna be learning who all these people are that night. And there you go. <laughs> that is why this guy is number one on YouTube. Grandmaster. That, that as well. Dude. That as well. Uh, guys, that was our show. Thank you for being with us. Once again, a mm-hmm. uh, round of applause from the husbands for our favorite friend of the show. Give it up for Grandmaster. Thank you. That flew by. That was fun. Yeah, dude. We're kicking you out of here. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, dude. Go to your daughter's <laughs> volleyball practice. <laughs> uh, this is, give us an update on Mexican martial arts. What is happening with the YouTube page these days? YouTube. Any new uh, videos up? Any changes? Any Patreon updates? What can people expect? Yeah. I've been trying to mix it up a little bit lately. I'm making some low budget videos. I'm I'm trying not to take a whole month to make a video lately, and the Fuck numbers yeah. are growing. It's doing good. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Work life balance. <laughs> I'm gonna take that sound pad away. Sorry, from sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just a big fan of work life balance, and I feel like it's very important. Okay? Check out your page done yet? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm you- actually. T- we're finishing it off today. I'm- Picture of it for him. So yeah. shut the. F- yeah, shut Tell your, people right now. Shut your fucking mouth before I fuck it, dude. Hey, hey. Oh. hey, happy birthday to Gilbert, by the way, guys. Yeah, happy birthday to Gilbert. It was his birthday last weekend. He turned thirty nine. He <laughs> looks really good for his age, and yeah. Um, and he went to go see Shin Lim. Tell us guys, about your birthday. Shin Lim was amazing. Uh, if you guys don't know who Shin Lim is, look it up on YouTube, Vincent, because the way you're looking at, like, you don't know who that so, is. So, uh, Vince, <laughs> judging by the name of Shin Lim, what do you think it is? Without the first Googling. thing that came to my mind was Schindler's List. <laughs> hey, that's, what, that's what it is. Bro, that's actually, what it is. Not racist. That's that not movie racist. is a fucking masterpiece. I thought though. you were going to say List, so good. I thought you were going to say Shen Yun. Are you familiar with is Shen Yun in Central ass California? Ass <laughs> See, now you made me think of Shen Mu. <laughs> was that? Shen Mu? <laughs> the video game Shen Mu. Oh, that I don't know what that game? is. Oh, you never, it's a, a martial arts video game. How do you spell oh, that? it's bad. Is that like the 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 kids the the, the I honestly kid? thought you were butchering Shamu. I was Me like, too. you really Me can't too. say anything today. I was like, no, holy it's, fuck. It's video from game. back That's in the day game. from Sega Dream, uh, from Dreamcast, and then they made a version on PlayStation. Bro, it's like the best game ever. The only game I know on Sega Dreamcast was that Dolphin game. Uh, the only game I know on Dreamcast was Crazy Taxi. Oh, crazy taxi. Crazy taxi. Yeah. Big fan. Dude, big that was fan. fun. It was always hard. It's very hard to go through San Francisco in 60 seconds. Yeah, yeah it's really so hard. It was- I've seen her. Uh, guys, that was our show. Make sure you follow Vincent, a.k.a. Grandmaster, at Mexican Martial Arts. Grandmaster. Uh, also follow Alex at Lift God. Also follow at Lift Picks. If he gets 100 people on Lift Picks, I will mm. follow him then. But yep. Until then, I'm yeah. not a follower of Lift Picks. I got to follow that yeah. page. Also follow Nick the Ear on all social media platforms. You can also see Alex and Nick together soon on JK News. Just kidding. News. Is it JK News? Hmm? Yeah. JK News. Um, yeah. and you can call me at Gilbert's watch me on Tiger Belly as Bobby makes fun of me as usual uh, what else uh, I'm gonna be in the next Tekken movie mm. are you really I don't wanna talk about You're it gonna be horror let's cut this out <laughs> hey, we should have just out. we should have just stand this whole episode this kinda look cool I can't I'm, <laughs> I'm holding my poo right now and I gotta sit down so sleep alright uh, end it we love no we're gonna keep going a little bit we love you guys so much we're about to play the theme song out of here. Vincent, you're the best. I hope to see you in real life. I feel I've literally told you since I first met you, text me off camera about stuff. Yeah. You still have not reached out to me. And you also did not use the code I gave you for Tiger Belly merch, which is upsetting. Very upsetting. I keep track of it. You're I hope not that's fat. an indication to you. You're not fat. You're not fat. You're not fat. <laughs> Get your medium sized shirt now. You're not I have fat. a complex. All right. <laughs> okay, well, it's off camera. He starts crying. <laughs> Guys, we love you! And for my birthday, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and also leave a comment on who you want to win this weekend. Cisco or the Grandmaster. Peace!